chocolate. Hi. I'm going way too <laughs> I'm gonna catch you. Okay, I'm fine. I I'm okay. You're gone. I know, sweetie. I'm not going anywhere. I'm never gonna leave you, okay? <laughs> Shh. Hey, look at me. I'm okay. Go get your bike out of the street, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm so sorry. I I didn't even realize the speed limit, and I I really upset your daughter. Yeah, thanks. She's uh she's just been through some really traumatic things. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. Listen, we're uh, we're okay here. Hey, are you okay? Hey, hey, look, look. See, it's just a scratch. It looks bad. It's okay. Hey, I know you lost your biological mom, and then you lost your adopted mom, and I know that you love them both very, very much. But I promise, nothing's gonna happen to you, and nothing's gonna happen to me, okay? And we're gonna be together for a very, very long time. I promise. So, you don't need to worry so much, okay? But I love you so much. Oh, sweet. And I love you, too. <laughs> hey, what do you say? We go home and go to the park later, okay? All right, all right, come on. worse than it was. Can we still go for bike rides? Yeah, of course we can. You're getting fast on that thing. You're faster than me. What's he doing here? I don't know. Cross my property again. I wasn't, I swear. If I had a fence, your daughter wouldn't be able to get through. Well, from now on, it won't happen. Right, Ella? You parents these days, letting your kids get away with everything. How are they gonna toughen up? I'll do respect, Albert, but I don't need parenting advice from you. You've been a parent for what? Two years? What do you know? Why is he always so mean? I don't know, honey. Some people just like to make other people miserable, I guess. Can we go swimming? Maybe. Maybe we can watch a movie. And we can play a game. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'll be there. Bye. Dad? Honey, I'm sorry, there's an emergency at work and I have to go in, but we will do something fun tonight instead. I promise, maybe we'll grab some ice cream, yeah? All right, I just have to go change and grab my stuff first.
wrong? Are you hurt? Did you load the dishwasher or the, the knife is sticking out? Yeah, but I'm, I'm sure I put the blade down. The other knife's in there that way. Okay, maybe just um, double check next time, okay? Of course. No. Just hold that tight, okay? Sweetie, I'm sorry. I'm working a lot lately. But how about you find something fun that we can do together over a long weekend, all right? You know, like a Friday to a Monday, and we'll make it happen in a few weeks, all right? Really? Yeah. There. Good as new. I think that we're in good shape for this commercial. Let's cast the lead tomorrow. And we're all working really hard. Speaking of, I'm gonna take Ella away for a long weekend in a few weeks. That's a great idea. Yeah. Her last vacation was? <laughs> last time I took a vacation was before Carol passed away. Well, you and Ella really deserve a vacation. How's the house hunt going for your mom? She actually found a few places she likes in Albany. I'm sure she'll be happy having her own place after living with me for the last six months. Well, you're a good daughter. And you're a great business partner. I already said you deserve a vacation. No need to butter me up. <laughs> Look, Dad. They have mountain biking, fishing, and zip lining. It looks like so much fun. And I already watched a video, so I know how to set up our tents. Adventure camp, huh? Looks fun. All right, I'll check in the reservations. I can't wait to tell Kinsley. What's up? Guess where I'm going this summer. I don't know, where? Adventure camp, my dad's taking me. Oh, you're so lucky. Ever since my parents got divorced, my dad never takes me anywhere. But your dad works all the time, so you don't really have it much better than I do. Yeah, but m my dad's the big boss. He works a lot, but he still makes time for me. I wish I had your dad. Yeah, but you can't have him. Whatever. Anyway, I gotta make a list of all the things I'm taking to adventure camp. Then my dad's taking me out for ice cream. See you tomorrow. Yeah, that's right, the 21st to the 24th. Great, thank you. Look, Dad, I downloaded all these videos for adventure camp. This one shows you how to tie knots. This one teaches you about animal tracks. And this one is if we get lost while we're hiking. Very cool. Well, I just got off the phone with them, and we're booked. Really? Yeah. I can't wait. I've never been more excited for anything in my entire life. I think that these are my favorites. I agree. Oh, wow. What? Look at who the casting agency just sent over. She stars on that really popular show called Twisted Pretty. Really? That's the girl in the show? I can't even believe she's available. <laughs> Ella's going to be thrilled. She watches that show with her friend Kinsley all the time. the second she started dating him, but she didn't listen to me. He did this to her, and he's not going to get away with it. And my real mom died, too. And it was all her boyfriend's fault. I would have made him pay it. Hi, Dad. Hey, sweetie. You are not going to believe this. 
Guess who we just cast in the commercial we're shooting at the agency next week? Who? That actress that you love on the show. Riley? I mean, Juliet Lee? Dad, oh my god! Can I go meet her? Uh, let me think about it. Uh, yes, of course you can. <sighs> I can't believe it. Adventure camp? And now I get to meet Juliet Lee? I have to go over to Kinsley's and tell her. You're the best dad in the entire world. Okay, honey. I'll see you soon. <gasps> oh my gosh. You're never gonna guess who I'm meeting next week. Who? Juliet Lee. Oh my god, what? Can I go with you? No, you can't come. Why not? Because my dad's only taking me. Oh, well, you better get a selfie with her and text it to me. Obviously. Let's look at her latest post. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I want to meet her. <laughs> I'm so excited. Eleven more days till adventure camp. She gets some hiking shoes. I can't believe I get to meet you today. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be great. Is Albert leaving? What are you doing here on set? Oh, it's my dad's commercial. I mean, his agency. He's the owner. Oh, yeah? Well, your dad seems pretty cool. Um, I gotta go over my lines, but it was really nice to meet you. Wait, can we take a quick selfie? Uh, sure, but let's do it later, okay? Great. Nolan, hey. Thanks. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. How's your son? He's a teenager. <laughs> He's actually around here somewhere. I gave him the option of being my assistant for pay or going to summer school. <laughs> you know, the last time we saw each other, we talked about grabbing dinner. And that didn't happen. No, it didn't, did it? Well, how about Friday? Perfect. All right, I'll give you a call. Hey, I'm really sad what happened to your mom. I know what it's like. I hope that guy she was dating gets what he deserves. Oh, you mean like my character is small? Yeah, sucked, I guess. start who hmm. can we get that selfie um just a quick one in a bit okay it's supposed to be my friend hi hey how's it going it's going good how are you i'm good i'm, I'm julia um xander hey do you want to take a photo yeah sure okay Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Xander. Sorry, gotta go. Can you help me move the shelf? I guess, yeah. This is so light. You're just tired. Yeah, Please lose the attitude, babe, okay? Yeah, Xander. Lucy attitude. Hey, 
if it makes you feel any better. My mom used to make me work. He'll thank you one day. Trust me. I hope you're right. That's a cut. And that's a wrap, everybody. Thank you so much. Great job. Hey, you play ball? Oh, yeah, varsity. Yeah, I used to shoot some hoops back in the day. Really? Yeah. Okay. Dad, can we go get some hot chocolate? Yes, yeah, sweetie, you can go right over there. See right where the coffee is? Right there. So, you still got it? I don't play as much as uh, I used to, as much as I like. I went to college on a scholarship, and I got taken out by an injury. Syria. Okay, honey, it's all right. Come on, let's go. You okay? Yeah. You sure? They just scared me. I know. Is this your daughter? Yeah, this is Ella. Ella, this is Cecily. She designed the set. So nice to meet you, Ella. That is one beautiful outfit you have on. Thank you. You're so cute. You know what? I bet you could be an actress just like Juliet. You think? Oh, yeah. Easy. Dad, I never got a selfie with Juliet. Hey, Nolan. So, when can I see your skills on the court? How about a little one-on-one -on -one at the park this weekend? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm down. I mean, if you think you can keep up. <laughs> Let me help you with that. Yeah, sure. Thanks. You didn't send me the picture of you and Juliet. Leave me alone. Okay. It's my dad. Hey, where's Kinsley? You should show her your new backpack. shopping for adventure camp tonight yeah of course we can you can come too kinsley if you want she can't she's busy i'm not busy you're also not coming where's your friend juliet she had stuff to do tonight let me see your picture with her i i didn't get one i knew it did you even get to see her yes and we're even friends now she said we can take a picture and post it anywhere because her I might get don't too believe you. You're just jealous. <gasps> I'm inviting Juliet to adventure camp. Ah, stupid Kinsley! Stupid Albert! Ah, and Sandra, I hate you! <laughs> so annoying how Xander was all over you today. And then we couldn't take our picture. I guess that's why you haven't replied to me yet, because weirdos like him are texting you. But I'm not like him. You'll see. Sweetie, I'm going to be a little bit later tonight, maybe around 9, but I'll get Larissa to stay, okay? And she can babysit. I don't need a babysitter. Kinsley doesn't have one. Ella, come on. You've never stayed at home at night by yourself before. I'm not, I'm not comfortable with that. Please, Dad. <sighs> okay. But you've got to call my cell if you're scared or if there's an emergency or anything, okay? Dad, I'm practically a teenager. <laughs> I'm good being alone. Couldn't help it over here. If you need me to stay with Ella, I still can. No. I'm fine by myself. I promise, Dad. It's okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, kiddo. 
Come on, you don't want to be late for day camp. Grab your stuff and I'll meet you in the car, okay? Okay. All right. You must be so busy filming your TV show, you can't come with us to adventure camp. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Well, not the first time. Mom? Yeah, my real mom before Carol adopted me. She used to let me stay home a lot when she would go with Gino. Sometimes they wouldn't come home at all. That's when I found Gino's gun in his bag. That's the gun he used to. Never mind. I don't like to tell that story. She screamed the other day when we were shooting the commercial. I was so worried that she was hurt badly. Yeah. Ella has a hard time controlling her emotions sometimes. That girl, she suffered more than most people will their entire life. Her uh, biological mother was killed by an abusive boyfriend while Ella was in the room. Are you kidding me? That's horrible. I know. And then, what, right after you adopted her, your wife passed away, is that right? It was about a year later, but yeah. Carol was diagnosed a few weeks after the adoption was finalized. Form a bond with Ella the way that I did. So strange the way tragedy can do that. You know, create that stronger bond. Yeah. You know, I've just been so busy working so much lately, I'm sure she's just wanted more of my attention. You know? But I am going to take her to adventure camp, so that'll be fun. Lakewood Adventure Camp? Yeah. Sandra and I went there last summer. We had a blast. Hmm. I think it is so sweet that you are doing this dad-daughter vacation. Really? Sandra's relationship with his dad is complicated. Hmm. But I think it's so nice to hear how much you care about her. It's beautiful. Cheers. Cheers. So, what are you gonna do when you see your mom's boyfriend tonight? Hmm. I know what I'd like to do. <laughs> I really just wish he'd hang himself. I know you're in there. I saw what you did. You destroyed my flowers. How was your night? Good. I just watched my show. Oh, yeah? Um, I wanted to ask you about something. Is something wrong? No, no, it's nothing like that. Um, you know how it's just been you and me for a while? And you remember Cecily? The, um, the woman that you, you met on set of the commercial? Mm-hmm. Well... I had dinner with her tonight. It was just a friendly dinner, but um, I like her, and I think I'd like to see her again. How do you feel about that? I like Cecily. She's really nice. Does she like you? Yeah, I think she does. Then I think you should see her again.
Thanks, kiddo. Welcome. As long as Sander isn't there. I came over to talk to you last night. I saw her on my security camera. Here, take a look. It doesn't show her ruining your garden, and she likes to take the shortcut to go visit her friend. So stop picking on my daughter. I know it was her. There is something very wrong with that little girl. And if she comes on my property again, I'm calling the police. the door dad yeah it was mr foster he's just thinking that you're on his lawn again i wasn't i swear i know honey i believe you you just do me a favor like, just don't even go near his house anymore but it saves time when i'm going to kinsley's house so just you know use the streets okay okay i made you some pancakes <laughs> and we're gonna see xander and cecily later this afternoon to play a little bit of basketball that'll be fun right this smoke. Yeah, I do. Come on. Let's see what you got. Not even gonna give me time to stretch? Come on, young man. No stretching. All right. <laughs> oh, we want to start now? Come on, young man. All right. All right. All right. Come on, oh! old man. You know what? What do you say we all play? Really? Yeah, let's go. Hey, have a little two-on-two. -two. Yes, I like that idea. Come on, can't I just play with Noel? Come on. Be fun to play with your old mom. <laughs> Gia, <laughs> Bella, you got him. Cheater! Oh. Ow! Sander hit me! Hey, hey. Baby, why are you playing so rough with her? I didn't even touch her. It's not bleeding. Let's get you some ice, okay? You're all right. Come on. Such a baby. Apologize to Ella before we leave, okay? I already told you. I barely even touched her. She seems to overreact a lot, don't you think? Just say you're sorry, okay? Look, I'm sorry if you got hurt. But I know you're faking it. Dad, <laughs> my nose still hurts from Saturday. Do I have to go to day camp? You will enjoy the company. Can I go to work with you? Oh, honey, I've got, I've got a lot of meetings today, you know? I'll be so quiet. I'll just sit at your desk and draw. <sighs> Thanks, Dad. OK. Uh-huh, I'll book the plane tickets. OK, bye. Everything OK? Well, um, my mom finally found a house to buy, but we both have to be there for the closing in New York. And unfortunately, the date is this Friday when you leave for your vacation. Oh. I'm so sorry. No, it's OK. You do what you got to do. It's important to get your mom settled. I know how much this trip means to Ella. I think I'll just call the camp before the clients get here, and I'll just see if there's something they could do. Great. 
Okay. Dad, look. The mountain biking looks so cool, I even drew one. Sweetie, I've got some bad news. Um, Gabrielle's mom found a house in New York, so they had to go settle the paperwork. But it's during our trip, which means I have to be here this weekend for an important meeting. I just called the camp, but they are completely sold out for the following weekend. But that's not fair! Honey, I know, I know you had your heart set on it. How about uh, we go skiing on Christmas break instead? Okay? But I wanted to go to adventure camp. I know you're disappointed, Ella. I'm disappointed, too. Get a trip. I promise. Okay? I'm not waiting for another trip. Oh, Juliet, please tell me what to do. I need to go to adventure camp. Just looking for a pencil. Accidentally broke mine. Oh, of course. Here. Is this your mom? Uh huh. Yeah. Where does she live? With me right now. You're welcome to stay in my office and draw. You can even sit on my desk if you'd like. Hi, mom. No. I won't forget to pick up your yogurt on my way home. I know you're almost done. Yes, blueberry flavor. Mom, um, I have a meeting to get to. Talk to you later, okay? I love you. Bye. Are we all good? Do you have everything you need? come over tonight for dinner. Maybe that'll cheer Ella up. What's wrong with Ella? I had to cancel our trip to adventure camp this weekend, and they're completely booked up for the rest of the summer. You know, I have a friend that works there. She gets insider tickets. I can call and see if she has any extras. That is very nice of you, but um, they said they're completely booked up. No, no, these are extra tickets. They're only for employees and their friends and family. <laughs> well, that would be amazing. But let's just keep it between you and me for now. I don't want to get Ella's hopes up. I'll give you a call back if I hear from her. Otherwise, I'll see you tonight. Can't wait. Bye. I already looked into some ski resorts, and I found one that has a hot chocolate bar with marshmallows. Good night. Good night. Isn't Gabrielle going home? Yeah, she's working late, though, because she's going away this weekend, right? Hey, Dad. Yeah. Can I take my bike and meet Kinsley at the park when we get home? Okay. Home by 6.30, though, all right? I invited Cecily and Xander over this evening.
forget to pick up your yogurt on my way home. I know you're almost done. Oh my god, the show! No, that's the one where they blackmail the ex-boyfriend. And that's the one where they push him down the stairs. Oh, here it is. What is that? Well, I finally figured out a way how to make my mom's boyfriend pay for what he did. I found out that these detergent pods taste just like candy. So you're gonna poison him to death? What? No, I'm not gonna kill someone. I'll just slip enough into his food so that he can't go on his precious trip to Europe with his slutty new girlfriend. How many do you need to eat to get sick? Is vomiting for three to five days. Higher dosages are fatal. Three to five days. That was delicious. Yeah, it's good, right? Larissa, our housekeeper, made it. She is an excellent cook. Really? Yeah. I've been looking for a new housekeeper. Just once a week or so. Is she looking for more work? I'll ask her tomorrow. So, Xander, you decided on college yet? Oh, no, not really. I still have to make one of those highlight reels. For basketball? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I remember when I had to make mine. You still have it? Yeah. Yeah, come on, I'll show you. Right now? Yeah. I'll clean up here. No, 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 I'll get it later. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Yeah. So, Emma, why don't you show me your room? Really? I would love to see it. Okay. Do you love my dad? Hmm. Wow. Um, no, we just met, right? I think he's pretty great. Mm -hmm. He's the best. Makeup's done. Look. Oh, wow. Thank you, Ella. This is beautiful. Oh, is that your mom? That's Carol. Like you. Is that your real mom? Yeah. She had a really mean boyfriend. She always did whatever he wanted. I don't know if she deserves to be missed. Please tell Ella we say goodnight. And I didn't want to say anything in front of her, but I haven't heard from my friend from Adventure Camp yet. But I'll let you know as soon as I do. Thank you. I think I made it up to her. I'm going to do a Christmas skiing trip, but, you know, Adventure Camp is definitely her first choice. I'm in the car, but uh, thank you again for everything. Yeah, any time, bud. So don't take this the wrong way, but... Are you sure we aren't moving too fast? Do you think we are? No. No, it feels weirdly natural. I just... I don't know, I just wanted to make sure we're on the same page. We are. Look, I just want to spend more time with you. Me too. I just heard back from my friend from Adventure Camp, and she said they're full. But she's going to do her best to pull some strings. Her boss is out of the office this morning, so we probably won't hear back until tomorrow. I've got to work late, unfortunately. But I'd love to see you. How about tomorrow? That sounds great. I was hoping that you and Ella could come over for dinner, because Xander has been dying to show you the footage from his basketball reel. He was up all night working on it. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you tomorrow night. Softener. 
No pods. Don't show me. I'll march right in there and tell the store owner, and they'll call the police. See? Nothing. Leave me alone before I call the police on you. I'm gonna tell your dad, when he gets home from work today, what you're up to. yard you're not telling my dad anything what are you doing Stop! Look, I wanted to show you the place that booked us for Christmas. Huh? It's really pretty, Dad. I know. Check it out. It's cool, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, Cecily invited us over for dinner tonight, so I told her that we'd bring pizza. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's me.
Looks like I'm going to adventure camp after all. Hey, Peter. What's going on? Mr. Foster okay? I wanted to drop off his drill and I found him in the back not breathing. He must have fallen off his ladder. They couldn't revive I can't believe he's just been lying there. so weird lately. I'm not. And you never want to hang out after camp anymore? I've been busy. And there's cops and ambulance at your mean neighbor's house. Did he like die or something? Why are you asking me? He hates me. Why would you think I know what happened to him? Huh? Just go away. You're not my friend anymore. You and Ella fighting? I don't know. I guess. What happened? I gotta go. Hey, Nolan. I have to step out. My mom's really sick. Oh, no. What's wrong? Sounds like food poisoning or maybe the flu. I just, um, I want to get her to urgent care just to be sure. Okay. I didn't say you can come in my room. What happened to your shirt? Are you hurt? No, I'm not. I'm fine. I ripped it at day camp. Just leave me alone! So, hey, I've got a friend of mine who's looking for a housekeeper if you're interested. Oh, sure. Uh, just give me that number I can call tomorrow. Great. Nolan? Yeah? Uh, something awful happened today. Your neighbor, Mr. Foster. He died. What? How? Uh, he fell off a ladder while cleaning his gutters. Paramedics believe it actually happened yesterday. Oh, my God. And I also wanted to talk to you about Ella. Ella? Enough to notice that she's been acting strange. What do you mean by strange? Well, I thought something was off when she cut her finger in the dishwasher. I would never put a knife in blade side up. Then, today, I overheard her arguing with Kinsley outside, and... And then I noticed her T-shirt was ripped. So did you ask what happened? She said it happened at day camp. But when I picked her up, her shirt wasn't ripped. Look, I really don't want to cause any trouble. And I know that you've told me that Ella's been through a lot, so. <sighs> OK, thank you. Why can't Marissa just mind her own stupid business? Hey, honey. Um, I want to talk to you. <clears throat> Larissa just told me some things that are a little upsetting. Like what? 
Remember when you cut your finger? Did you, you know, did you reach in and pull out the knife or was the blade sticking up? I was putting a dish in there and it cut me. Um, what's going on with you and Kinsley? Are you guys fighting or something? She's just been kind of mean to me ever since I met Juliet. I think she's jealous. How'd you rip your shirt today? I was riding my bike through the park and it... Did at day camp? No, she seemed mad that I ripped it. And it scared me, so I just said whatever, okay? Are you mad at me, Daddy? No, Ella, no, I'm not mad. I'm, I'm, I'm concerned, honey. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? I know, I know. Like, if there's something bothering you, you have to tell me. That was our deal, remember? That's why you stopped seeing the counselor. But I'm fine. It's just that Larissa always tries to act like she's my mom and she's not. She's not. She's nothing like... I really miss her. Don't you? I'm sorry, just give me a second, okay? Hey, how's your mom? The doctor thinks it's food poisoning. She's home and resting it, and I just picked up some medicine. I'm not gonna travel with her in the state. But I can come into work now if you want to take your vacation this weekend. Oh, I wish that we could, but you know, when I call to cancel, I can't give away our tickets, and they're fully booked up. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? Cecily has a friend that works there. Oh. She's trying to get us tickets for next weekend. Maybe they can switch it to this weekend instead. I don't know. Oh, great. All right, bye. Oh, wow, delicious. Thanks, Nolan. I'm just going to take this to my room. It's having a rough day. He's supposed to see his dad this weekend, but he had an unexpected work trip. So he's obviously upset. Sorry to hear that. But I do have some good news. I heard from my friend from Adventure Camp, and she has four extra tickets that you can use this weekend, but the campsite's sold out, so you have to stay off-site. That's great. We'll take them. I'll just book a vacation rental in the area. Honey, why don't you put that in the freezer? Well, you said four tickets, right? Yeah. I know it's short notice, but you and Xander want to come with us? Well, you know, we don't want to intrude. That's... No, no, you're not intruding. We'd love to have you, right, Ella? Mm-hmm. Well, I do have a rare weekend off, and Xander's dad did back out, so I'm sure he would love to go. I'll book a house right now. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. I'm still sad you can't come with us to adventure camp. We're leaving tomorrow. It's going to be so fun. Yeah, but I know you're so busy. That's okay. Hey, how's your mom doing? <sighs> She's having more symptoms, but the doctor said to just stay home and rest and it should pass. She claimed she didn't eat anything strange. Really? Keep me posted, okay? I will. You know there's no basketball at Adventure Camp. I looked it up on the website. That's cool. <laughs> they have mountain biking though. You gonna do it on? Heck yeah. Just like the pictures we saw. Whoa, this place is so cool. I can't wait to pick my room. I don't care where I sleep. 
Which one's that adventure cap? Wow. Yeah, this place is actually pretty dope. This place is the best, Dad. It's beautiful. It smells delicious. Hey, I can't thank you enough for those tickets, really. No problem. No, really, you made Ella's summer. How about a toast? To the future? One that I see with you. Hey, Ella. Thank you. Hey! Hi, couldn't wait for the rest of us, huh? Mom, I'm starving. Besides, the sooner we eat, the sooner Nolan and I can go check out the lake for night fishing, right? It's a good point. Right. He's not wrong. still doing up. I just need an extra pillow. Found one in the hallway closet. Okay. So lucky tomorrow, Xander. <sighs> I can't believe we're almost there, Dad. I know, sweetie. So exciting. I did the zip lining last summer. It was so sick. Are you gonna do it too, Nolan? Yep. Hey, Dad, can we go fishing together? And we'll go hiking. Nice ride, thank you. Whoa, look! Whoa! Oh, oh, that's I want to do that so one. cool. You gonna do that? Yeah. I'm going on that one. <laughs> we provide a helmet, protective padding, and gear. All of our mountain biking courses are listed over there on that map. Zone one is suited for beginning riders, uh, but zone two through five is for intermediate and more advanced riders only. Uh, we open the trails at one o'clock. Zone five is where it's at. Uh, no, you can sign up for zone three. <laughs> you guys want to grab some breakfast after we get the bike set up? I already ate cereal at the house. Can I go to the park while you guys eat? Sure. Be careful, though. You just come back to the dining area as soon as you're done. Deal? She's so cute. What 
goes up, it must come down. Excuse me, where are the sign-up sheets for the mountain biking courses? Yeah, right over there. You can just write your name on the zone you want. We'll be sending off the zone fives first since it's the longest and toughest. It's been almost an hour. You know, I think we have time for a hike before we mountain bike. Maybe I'll... Illustration building. All right. Well, I'll clean up here. Okay. Xander, I'm going to find Ella. to wear for mountain biking. Well, you got what you needed. Yeah, thanks. Excuse me, have you seen the little girl I was with earlier? Uh, she was here not too long ago, uh, but she must have wandered off. Thank you. Oh my God, Ella, there you are. I was so worried about you. I was just coming to meet you and Dad. I looked for you at the playground. Where have you been, sweetie? I was there. Hmm. Must have just missed each other. Yeah. I'm really glad you're here. Me too. I know you make my dad really happy. Let's see who we have on the list. All right. Well, uh, let's give a round of applause to our bravest biker, Xander Grant. You're first on our toughest mountain biking course. It's definitely not for the faint of heart. You I'm sure you can handle that? Hell yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> So I signed up for it. My son, the daredevil. When I was Andrew's age, I'd be doing that course too. Oh, well, that's why you took it along so well. <laughs> this is crazy. Wait, what the hell? My brakes! Why aren't they working? No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Are you okay, man? Oh. Oh. I'm gonna call for help. I'm gonna transport Xander to a hospital in Philly. They're not sure how bad the fracture is in his leg. 
Okay, we'll pack up your things and be right behind you. No, no, don't do that. No, I know how much this trip means to Ella. Uh, okay, well, we'll just bring your stuff home when we come back on Monday. Okay, I better go. Okay, call me with updates. Okay. I together. I want this one to be perfect. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet, finally. Hey, how's Xander? So I just picked up my car from your place, and I'm heading home now. Xander didn't need surgery, thank God, just six weeks on crutches. Oh, I'm just glad it's not worse. But that means he can't play basketball, though. He, he must be so... I miss much this season. It's going to give him a chance to work on his career. Dad, I dropped my marshmallow. Oh, well, honey, I'm on the phone. Just give me a sec, all right? You know what? It sounds like you're busy. I'll let you go. No, I'm not, I'm not busy. You know what? I, I should really focus on the road, and I'm exhausted. You two have fun. Uh, okay. Um, we well, you know, ha have a good night and tell Xander that we're thinking of him. I will. All right. Bye. Okay, bye. Did Nolan and Ella come back with you? No, he offered to, but I wanted them to stay. I know Ella was... I don't know. Is everything okay? You spent a lot of time with Ella, right? Yeah. I've worked for Nolan a few months. Do you ever find her behavior a, a little off? Maybe you should go and talk to Ella's friend, Kinsley. I don't know if I should do that. Kinsley is your best friend, her only friend, from what I know. I can get you her address. Okay. Kinsley? My name's Cecily. I'm friends with Ella's father. Oh, so you're the new girlfriend. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Are your parents home? <laughs> you mean my mom and her husband? No, they're not. Uh, I was hoping. I wanted to ask you about Ella. <sighs> what about her? Has she said or done anything strange lately? Look, all I know is that Ella's super obsessed with this one show. The one starring Juliet Lee? Uh-huh. And she thinks her and Juliet are friends in, like, real life, which is pathetic. But on the show, Juliet does all these crazy things to get revenge, and if Ella doesn't like someone, she'll want to get revenge, too. So what do you mean by revenge? Mm, well, she had this neighbor. Hey, be careful. <laughs> this is exactly like the pics online. I know. Wait, are you telling me that you think that Ella had something to do with his death? Has she mentioned anything to you about my son, Xander? Mm, oh, I know she hates him, so if I were you, I'd tell your son to watch his back. When do you get back from adventure camp? Monday, probably around 6 o'clock. Great. Can I meet you for a drink Monday night? Yes, of course. That'd be great. Uh, I can bring all your stuff that you left here at the house. Okay. Sounds good. I'll see you then. All right. Can't wait. Me too.
What do you want? I just got back from adventure camp. It was so much fun. That's cool, I guess. But fun's over now. No, it's not. You're just jealous I got to go. Okay. I guess your dad hasn't talked to his little girlfriend yet, huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh my gosh. You have no idea, do you? I told her everything about your little obsession with Juliet and how much you hate Xander. Oh, and what you did to your neighbor? What? That's not true. You don't know anything. Whatever, Ella. Just like you said, we're not friends anymore. Okay, here, can you just lie down? Lie down, lie down. Did, did you eat something different today? Just all the same things you did. It's really bad. I can't breathe. Okay, honey, I need you to relax, all right? Breathe. But you're going out tonight. I don't want to be alone while I'm sick. No, I'm not going to go, all right? You stay here, just relax for Dad, and I'm going to go get you something for your stomach, all right? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for coming over here instead. I've got a little something special for you, but it's out in the back patio after you. There you go. I know you said you wanted a drink, so I brought out the best bottle that I have. Nolan. And I got us some snacks. Nolan. Hey, what's wrong? We really need to talk. OK. It's about Ella. Ella, what about her? Look, I wanted to come to you first before I went to the police. The police? Look, I, I spoke to her friend Kinsley. She told me what happened to your neighbor. She thinks that Ella's the one who killed him. Albert? Wait, you think Ella had something to do with that? No, Cecily, his, his death was an accident. He, he, you know, he fell off a ladder. Or did Ella push him? What? I had a feeling that you weren't going to believe me. Ella, what are you doing? Ella! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Cecily, get in the house. Ella, put down the knife. I hurt you. Daddy, I'm so sorry. Honey. What's your emergency? There's been an attack. I need you to send police and an ambulance. What's the address? 1136 Grandview Avenue. Officers are on the way. I'll stay on the line until the officers arrive. Officers? Are they coming for me, Daddy? No, honey. We're going to work it out together, okay? You're mad at me, Daddy, aren't you? No, no, no. Aren't you? <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to hurt you, Daddy. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. I just wanted Cecily to go away. Oh my God. Juliet said I had to get rid of her. <laughs> Juliet? She's my friend. And when I get really upset, I talk to her. What? Juliet, you have to tell me what to do. My dad is hurt. Ella. You have to help me explain everything to him. Ella, look at my eyes, honey. Look at my eyes. Please answer me. Juliet. Ella, come back to me, honey. You're my only friend. You, you have to help me. No. Okay. Hi. 
Hi. Hey. I'm off to the hospital. You sure you don't want me to come with you? No, nah, it's okay. I like the flowers. Yeah. It's Ella's favorite color. I thought it'd be nice to have some of her favorite things in the house. It could remind us of her while she's away. See you soon. Okay. Give her a kiss for me. Look, Dad, I made this in art class. Beautiful, sweetie. I love the colors. I painted a garden here and look at the pretty sun. They said we can even plant some this spring.